your car guy here. Today we're gonna to review the Ansel S3000 diagnostic leak detector. So this is both a pressure detector and a smoke machine, as you might call it, uh, for doing diagnostics for any type of leak. So we could do this to check for intake system leaks on the intake set side of a vehicle. Um, we can also use it to check for exhaust leaks by smoking through the exhaust. Uh, let's say you've got a windshield leaking or something else and you want to know where that leak is, you could also use this to pressurize the inside of a vehicle with it sealed up and then see where the leak is in order to do it. So really neat tool. So let's just show what all comes with this tool. So we've got our main box here, which is the actual machine itself. This has a vacuum pump built in and a smoke generator, a vacuum or pressure pump, so it can build the pressure that's needed, it doesn't need an outside air pressure source. And just a few of the things as we look at this, we have, this is our airflow button to turn it on and off on our LED indicator. Um, red and green, depending on if it's airflow, no airflow will be red, with airflow it'll be green, the button to turn it on and off. This is our smoke button. Same thing, red and green indicator. Our pressure gauge, so to read what our output pressure is, this is our flow control knob here, so we can control the flow that's going out. So if we, we don't wanna overpressure a system or run too much smoke. So I can run it with just air pressure or with air pressure and smoke, which is great. Up on top, we have our fill port, and it does come with this great little funnel in order to put in our smoke fluid to help keep you from making a mess. Really nice, fits right in there. Beautifully. On the side, you'll see we've got our sight window to see our minimum and maximum fluid level for our smoke fluid. Um, on this side here, so this is our output where we'll connect our hose from our smoke. And then there is our input for our 12 volt electric. This kit here, particularly the S3000, does come with the funnel that I've already shown you. Here is your hose that you will attach to the machine right there on the side, screw it in and then our output nozzle for our air pressure and smoke. Great little thing here, this air bladder is really neat because you can use it to plug, say, the intake or an exhaust pipe. And it works by pumping up that bladder I've inserted into the exhaust or the air intake until it seals. Then I can introduce smoke by connecting this nozzle right into this airline, and I can introduce smoke right through the center here into that area that I've just blocked off to seal up. Now, to release the pressure, I've got a button here that releases the bladder. It does come with an extra rubber bladder in case we damage this one, and it's important whenever we're using it to make sure where we're putting it in doesn't have any sharp edges or anything because it's basically a balloon and it can pop. But Worst case scenario, we have an extra, extra bladder. We get all of these plugs that can fit into various size ports to plug things off. That'll help with our diagnostics. This is our electrical cord. This end plugs into the machine itself. And then these will attach to the battery of the vehicle. So 12 volt battery source. And it is a plenty long cord, so you have plenty of room to work with. We also have this cone, and this cone, similar to the bladder, is something that I could insert into an exhaust pipe or an intake, and then I can introduce my smoke right through this hose down the center to help seal things off. The only thing that you will have to buy outside of this kit is your smoke oil. And it can use uh, a pure baby oil or your smoke fluid um, this is some that I had from a previous project. So you can use the baby oil with this machine or you can use the, the smoke oil. So this is great because I can use both pressure and smoke all with one machine. This is gonna be great for both the do-it-yourselfer and for uh, a small shop or really any size shop. Uh, this is a high quality piece of equipment. If we're chasing evaporative emission leaks, intake leaks, exhaust leaks, this is gonna speed up your work drastically by being able to just hook it up and apply the smoke and the pressure to it, 
you'll be able to see if you have a leak. So when you're chasing vacuum leaks, you're chasing, chasing evaporative emission system leaks, any of those, this is gonna be a great tool to do that. With my power hooked up and I've got my machine hanging, I wanna keep it vertical so the oil doesn't get spilling around. So I don't want this to be laying down anywhere. You'll see that on my air compressor, I've got a red LED that says it's ready. I can turn it on, it turns green. We can see what we've got going out here and I can feel the pressure build up. As it builds up and equalizes, I can see how much pressure is coming out here. Now I should be able to decrease this pressure or increase this pressure or flow based on this here. But you can see my gauge will rise as I'm plugging the nozzle here to see how much pressure we're building. So if I wanna to build to a specific pressure, I can build and then stop. Within two minutes, we should be able to start generating smoke. So we turn on our pressure control, then turn on our smoke. We should start getting smoke out of our nozzle here fairly quickly. Okay, now I hope you can see that smoke. There it is. And this is where a bright light will help you see that smoke. If I run just the smoke, it automatically turns the compressor on and it'll start building my smoke again. So I'll run my smoke and I can turn it off. So I can take my, let's say this cone, and I would insert my hose here. Now when I run smoke, I've got my smoke coming right out of the center of that nozzle. So that's where I could put this into an intake opening or an exhaust in order to check for a leak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cone, we're gonna insert it in the exhaust pipe. When I exert this in the exhaust pipe, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a twist to make sure it seals up good. I will connect my line here, and then I'm gonna let it start. Well, well, actually, before I connect the line, before I connect the line, I'm gonna go ahead and start it out to make sure that I've got some smoke flowing as it may take a minute for my smoke to get going here. Once my smoke is flowing, so now I've got my smokes flowing. Maybe hard to see without a light through it. I'm gonna connect it into the exhaust and I'm gonna let this start pressurizing the exhaust system. So I can see right here, right next to my cone, I'm getting a little bit of smoke out but that's exactly what we'd be looking for on an exhaust leak. Now it may be hard to show, this is a very large exhaust system and to go find that leak, but you can see that's exactly what you'd be looking for. Those whiffs of smoke coming out anywhere along your exhaust system. Same thing if I'm gonna check my intake. Here you can see, I've got smoke coming out of what is my muffler, but this is the, um, well, it's a water drain hole, so if there's moisture in the muffler, it allows it to drain out versus plugging it up. I need to plug that to allow the smoke to go further up the exhaust system instead of just coming out right here. And then I can continue testing. Let's say you have an evaporative emissions leak, which is a code, usually they'll tell you, hey, check your fuel cap, make sure that it's on. Well, that's something that you can test with your cars and we'll do other videos that show exactly how to plug into the evaporative emission system to do a test like that. Or uh, let's say you've been told that you've got an intake manifold leak or a vacuum leak. You can plug this in on the intake side up by the air filter and you can test from the air filter side to find your leaks. There will also be times that you'll get a code for system two lean. And oftentimes that's caused by an intake manifold that's leaking um, and I say leaking, it's gonna be a vacuum leak because when the engine's running, it's gonna be sucking extra air in. Important to note that whenever you're using this, make sure the vehicle is turned off. You don't want the vehicle on. Uh, it's not gonna work that way. You may end up damaging the machine or harming yourself. So we do this with the vehicles off. Another cool feature right here, we do have this elastic strap. So when you're done with everything, you can coil your hose and your electrical cord up 
and hang them right there on the side of your machine. So it's going to be a nice, simple way to test for leaks, help you diagnose your vehicles much more rapidly and efficiently, and make sure that you have correct diagnosis. You know, for example, if I've got a shop and I suspect a vacuum leak, unless I've been able to pinpoint it, I would want to do a smoke test first to make sure that I've got a vacuum leak and where it is before I go just resealing an intake manifold. Uh, oftentimes we'll see where sometimes people just throw parts at things before they fully diagnosed it. This is a tool to help you diagnose things and diagnose them properly. It is a great tool. I'm very impressed with it. I'm impressed with its features. Remember, you always want to diagnose things before you just replace parts. Uh, too often we see where somebody goes and they get a code checked by somebody at say an auto parts store and they'll say, oh, it's your oxygen sensor because it's a system too rich or a system too lean code. Well, guess what? Those are usually symptoms of something else going on and not that the oxygen sensor is bad. The oxygen sensor is just reading what's happening and telling you I'm too rich or I'm too lean. So your PO401s, PO402 codes, those types of codes, this is a great tool to help you diagnose and make sure you don't have vacuum leaks. Or if you do, then you can fix your vacuum leak before you do it. If you've got an exhaust leak, you're having trouble pinpointing. This is a great tool to go and find your exhaust leaks, seal them up, and make sure that you don't have any exhaust fumes getting into your vehicle. A great tool. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, I'm very happy to do this for Ansel. I'll leave a link to the tool where you can buy it in my description of the video. If you found this helpful, please like and share the videos. Go, go through the link and buy the tool. Um, it is a great tool. I'm happy to have this in my shop. Uh, it helps me quite a bit with diagnosing vehicles before I'm just throwing parts at them. This is your car guy. Don't forget to like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel.